Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to be told. You already know the name is Six Star General, and you just enjoyed a beautiful video from D Crown featuring Jesse Jacks called A Lamb. Now, going straight to sports news, it says that uh, the Ghana Premier League rounded up after a troubled season with a new name on the champions list and a further evidence that the traditional Asante Kotoko had Diopoli is long gone. Now, TV3 Dana Kojo Afre looks into the incredible story of Wa All Stars success. It wasn't exactly Leicester City stuff, but in winning the Ghana Premier League, Wow All Stars stunned many people. When predictions were made for who would become Ghana League champions, many settled on the usual suspect, Asante Kotoko, Heart of Folk. There was the odd mention for Mediama and a feeling that it could be Diana Stars' season. Then Wow All Stars turned up the heat on everyone and crawled their way to the title by the lowest point tally since the mirage of the professional league began in 1993. On reflection, maybe we should have seen this coming. They have been consistent for some time, took time out to prepare for the season in Saudi Arabia and announced their early intentions with the win over Diana Stars away from home and the complete annihilation of Hearts of Folk at their Crossport Stadium on March Day 6 at the peak of the Phobians' form. They legged around the top four for most of the season and spent more time top of the table than any club. With three games to end the season, they had their destiny in their own hands. Win them all and become league champions. But there were major tests along the way. They lost 0-1 at Liberty as their closest rivals, the Diana Stars, won over Tichiman City to tie both clubs on 48 points. It proved to be just what the Ghana Premier League needed, a league decider at a venue few had bothered to care about. When the entire football establishment descended on war, all stars were ready for it. And the game lived up to the hype. Two goals inside the opening minute, crunch affair, nothing held back. It looked like the league would need a final day drama before Sadiq Adam stepped up to convert the winning goal of the game from the penalty spot after furious Indiana Stars protest and a walkout. At long last, the Upper West region will celebrate an achievement they never dreamt of. Devoid of political colours, football united the two major parties in the region, NDC and NPP. We are very happy. It has never happened. It has happened. Wow All Stars has made us all proud. It has made all the North proud. It has shown that we can go anywhere at all. And these young players, I believe, have the confidence to kill a lion. They can represent us in Africa. And um, I, I believe that when they are going, we are no longer going to see them as Wow All Stars. We will see them as a Ghanaian team representing Africa. Wow All Stars, you know, have set the pace. And they have done something that has never happened on this soil before. Exactly. We've seen a lot of uh, football players here. We produce a lot of football stars, but where we've gotten to today, in fact, there has not been any team that has gotten to this far. In fact, this is a moment and a situation that we cannot describe. What we can only say is that we are more elated and we are so excited. The man responsible for bringing an entire region together as Enos Kwame Adepa, Relatively unknown on the coaching scene, there is no doubt he has earned his breakthrough in a field that is mean and demanding. Where did it all start from for Enos Adepa? Thank you very much once again. Uh, where should I start? It started all around say, 2009, thereabout. Yeah. There is a particular key fit in Takradi, precisely based in Kwesimin team named Sampi, and then the owner whom I know called Mr. Albert Kwame Sampon was the accountant of G. So when we go on Saturdays and Sundays, we play soccer, we play volley, and normally we do aerobics as well. So he just identified something in me, the way I lead the aerobics, the way I even play, the way even, where I talked to the boys at a meeting, I was his direct vice chairman too. So he got to know and said that no, 
there's something in you. You have the quality to be a leader. You have a leadership qualities. But I, he thinks the way I like football, and he's a hat fan too. And I was also a Kotoko supporter and a circle chairman. <laughs> <laughs> the most strongest and powerful circle in uh, Western region and Takrade precisely. So 2010, there about, I just, they publish it in the dailies. And even he's the one who called me and said he has seen it in dailies. Yeah. So I went there. Uh, Ask and say, yeah, this and this. Then we just took it from there, continue consistently with the coach. Me, the division two, leave, left there and went to another place. Uh, uh, the northern part of western region, being uh, the Sechi area there, took uh, division one over there in the uh, second round, came back again, then we started his own again. It took you straight to the biggest challenge of your life, a challenge that you have been able to overcome. How did you get to Wow All Stars? Hmm. <laughs> wow All Stars, for instance. When Nuru left, I was called upon to come. <laughs> I say no. <laughs> if it should have been someone, I'd say, hey, it's a big opportunity for me to, yeah, but everything has to be well constructed. If you have a proper plan and you know when to Move. take, yeah. So that is what I did. I said, no, I'll still hide myself behind the scene and do what I'm doing if the time comes. So, right from right, right in. Not come and take up the challenge, come and help Jimmy Kumla to. I just ask the man, Are you ready to go to Africa? Someone who has not tasted the leg before you are just asking me this question, Are you ready to go to Africa? I said, No, I know what I'm capable of doing. So, from pre season, everything just came together, and then we saw Wow All Stars, you know, lead the league, you know, up to a certain stage, you know, it, it came down a bit, but still. You you were still confident the season the trophy was gonna come to Wa. Of course. Of course after that one I didn't have any slightest negativity idea about it that we can't clinch it because it was at the back of my head, pray for it that coming to the Premier Division for the first time and as a young coach that no one knows me. I have to come to that limelight. What am I supposed to do? I have to do something. Even being in the top four will even be a, 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 yeah, it will be a questionable but the, on, the only thing is just to claim the ultimate. Coach, this is another test for you as a young coach, you know, playing in the CAF Champions League. When the CAF Champions League ball is there what would be the feeling be like for yourself and the players i think it will be like uh, a dream comes true but <laughs> i'll be amazed because even i was expecting it to get there maybe in 15 or 20 years because uh, as well to I quite remember when I started the coaching course Ben Kofi and he so rest in perfect peace our own uh, technical director of the FA as well and I told him I want to be more than him so at one of his best days when we went there to sink we were then having a course over there that is licensee everyone shaking him I just knelt down and said no he should bless me he he didn't understand why why i don't understand why he understood i said no i want to be more than you so you just put your hand on me and bless me and and that has carried you through till today and i can tell you honestly the thing is manufacturing manifesting in, in in my coaching career that is why within this short time i've got into this far for that one i think it is reflecting in my life so when we get there to africa i just want to promise the whole Ghanaians that what's that will happen in africa 
no one should see us as an underdog, though we are underdogs. But once others started from the scratch and they've gotten there, or they had the name, why was that is also capable of doing that with the support of the whole uh, uh, Ghanaian fans? So we're wrapping up our interview with Coach Enos Kwame Adepa. The name Adepa should tell you why this man is beginning to blow people's mind, you know, with the kind of success he has achieved with WA All-Stars. Coach, before we wrap up this interview, what will, what memories would you have of the 2015-2016 Ghana Premier League, you know, when you look at all the venues you have been to? I will talk of Chelsea, going to break me Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, winning the match per se, but when we got there, huh, is it not the president? We we'll see, they say they know how to play, and I say, uh, even the police were saying, ah, uh, there's this small, small boys who were able to beat. Where is that coach at the park? We want to know him. I'm simple, I'm not known, so people will be asking, we just walk quietly to address him. Um, how our warm up starting the lane, the way I start doing my signs, and you see them talking, and the police standing behind me. Me, myself, and let's did they know we are going to beat them to it was like playing at home, and the way. Start. Hopefully, we know that when you do get into the group stage, TV3 will be there. We'll follow you wherever you're going to ensure that, you know, they are the part that you have as telecast to the whole of Ghana. Thanks very much. Yeah. Like Coach Adepa, General Manager of the club, Seth Boyoyo, admits playing in the CAF Champions League will be To Africa for the very first time, to us is going to be a very, very, very tough challenge. Uh, not challenging in terms of participation, but challenging in terms of trying to do better than the records that are available in Ghana. You know, and as a young club, we would want to create that impression that we are capable. You know, we are just not champions of Ghana, but we can also be champions of Africa. We'll see how we can. Uh, bring in some experienced players to uh, augment the squad that we are having. But that is not to say that we don't have belief in our boys. Uh, it's the same crop of players we took to Saudi and we beat the minds of Al Faisal and El Shaba in, 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 in Saudi. And that tells you that uh, given if you give them the confidence that they are capable, you know, and they are worthy champions, I think uh, with a few infusion of a few experienced players, which exclusively will give that right to the coach to do. You know, he would look at the technical areas where he thinks that he needs a backup. You know, then uh, we'll give him the opportunity to bring on board uh, the good material that he thinks can help. With a theory that they got it soft from referees too many times, many journalists disagree. Well, I think they deserve. If anyone else says they don't deserve, then if any other club else deserved it, they would have put in a bit more effort than what was started. Because this is a 16 club league, and apparently they were the only club that showed the intent of winning it from the starts of the league. You know, they've beaten clubs not only at home but away. People are lewd the fact that Kusinian Techi is the president of the club himself, the president of the FA, and so they might have some bit of, uh, I mean, referees officiating in favor of them but Kwesi has been the president of the FA while stars have been in the league for over eight nine years and so why did they win it this time around people who have been to wow will appreciate the fact that wow stars is the most traveled side and apart from that what they go through before they get down south to play all these clubs and that alone tells you that 
is a club that has come to say. They easily beat Accra as a folk 3-1 here in, in Accra. Kotoko couldn't beat them home and away this season. They went to Doma to win on March Day too. They went to Golden City Park in Brecon to win. People are forgetting these games and these are title winning games. If you want to win the league, you go to such places and get points there. And they, they did so, so well in, in, in those games. And I think they deserve to be, to be champions. Willie Graham as Ghana Premier League commentator for Super Sports. Last season, we saw a new champion, Ash Gold. This season, we've seen another new champion. And for me, it tells you the sort of determination that was actually written on the face of the players. If you have a team that had a pre-season out of, outside Ghana in, in Saudi Arabia and coming home to compete uh, with other teams that also had to augment the squad. If you look at the Wild Stars team, for instance, you are not talking about household names, but you're talking about players who are hungry to succeed. And some of the players had played for the club for four, five, six years. And so that determination was actually there. Now, again, if you look at a team that travels 12 hours almost every weekend, move to every centre, for me, it, it, it's more painful, if, if you ask me. Because when I made a journey to Wa and I came back to Accra, the following day, I just couldn't get up. But these players do it week in, week out. And so for me, I think they really had to prepare for the league. They did well by way of providing the needed opportunity for us to also say that, okay, listen, there are other clubs that really, when we give them attention, they can actually go further to win league titles. If everybody wants to look at them fairly, look at how they compete. A team that pro pro produces quality in terms of team play, a team that had a coach whose CV wasn't that rich as compared to other coaches, but there was something about the coach that the players liked. If a coach tells a player, I mean, the players to go and read novels, as against, you know, sitting at home, whatsapping, you know, watching movies. It shows you that psychologically you have to, have to prepare the players. And so they were the champions and you can't take anything away from them. Hearts of folk are backed by their chapters. Asante Kotoko always rely on their circles. But for all stars, Fadam are located in the heart of Wa is where they find inspiration. Without supporters, Wa All Stars could not have done this. And this is where the support base of Wa All Stars is. We would go and speak to some of the that has won the league this place is where the support base of war all stars is tell us how are you feeling we are feeling very great this is our first time of experiencing setting ever since we started this team i think we never seen any charm a uh, manager like self he has done a marvelous work with his coach and we are very proud of them i don't know the way we can express our feelings to them so we are very very happy I'm sure you are 40 plus. Did you dream of this day? No, 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 no. I never dream of this day. Boyoyo was my player at this Yellow Masters coast team. So he used to be our manager at this time. So I'm feeling, feeling very good. So, I'm very proud of Boyoyo. So what do you say to the players, to the coach? And this time around, you know that Wild wow Stars will be going to Africa and that is big. Uh, they should keep on training hard just to go to the Africa and, and do something for us. You have seen for yourself a team from who win the Ghana Premier League. Yeah, happy. I'm 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 so you heard from the man saying in there that you know he believes that what all stars will be able to defend the league one champions of the Ghana Premier League. So from the Fadama market here in Wa, this is how we will end our coverage of Wa All Stars Triumph as the 2015-2016 Ghana Premier League champions.
this season is further evidence that the traditional Asante Kotoko heart of folk Diopoli is losing ground, while all stars will be hoping the first shall not be the last. Congratulations to Wa All Stars 2015-2016 Ghana Premier League champions. Okay. So we say thank you very much to uh, Nana Kojo Afre for reporting this to us. And again, um, shout outs to Wa All Stars. You guys did a marvelous job out there. And congratulations to you guys. I mean, you keep working out. And it's like that. And uh, again, um, once again, let me, let me officially welcome uh, all the viewers out there. It's a, it's a Founders Day. And uh, we, should, we should be proud because you know, you're not who did today. And it feels great. You know, I feel freedom, freedom right now. And uh, all the founding fathers out there. Who, who give us this platform, we're very, very grateful. Now, let me chip in this quick. Again, uh, we, we just had uh, information reaching me from a higher source indicates that we lost a brother in the industry. That is uh, Omar Himpozo. We'd like to say rest in perfect peace, my brother. And I'm um, sorry about all these inconveniences. I feel like uh, we, we need each other right now. So um, when we hear things about ourselves, you know, we need to go all out and support to the fullest.